Yo, what's good guys? It's Nightwing2303 from moretesters.com. Today we got a quick look at the upcoming Air Jordan 4 Retro. This is the Dunk From Above colorway. So they're part of this series, and then I think there was another shoe. I think it was a Jordan 1 or something like that, but those were pretty trash. But we're here to talk about the Air Jordan 4. This is the very first 4 I've ever seen personally with a gum out sole, and this thing's sexy. So here's just a quick look, full 360 view. <sighs> that is so nice. So nice. If you're wondering about the material quality, this guy here used pretty much the same exact leather as the uh, Air Jordan 5 Lowe's. The Dunk from above Air Jordan 5 Lowe's, not the Fire Red Lowe's. The only real difference is that these don't quite have that heavy tumbled look that those did, but the thickness and the dyed leather and all that stuff is all pretty much the same. So you can see that here, super thick leather. Yep. This is straight off a of cow's ass. Nice and soft too. Really like this stuff. It looks great. I, I personally like the way that the dyed edges look. Wasn't really a fan when I saw them in pictures, but in person it just gives off like a really clean premium vibe. Something else that adds to the quote unquote premium effect on this shoe is that they've got these semi wax laces on there. It's kind of a clean look. White netting, tongue too. Got those golden yellow hits. It's kind of like a cow bears colorway. Jumpman on the back. And then again, my favorite part is the gum outsole. This right here is just too cool for school, man. Super sexy. Craftsmanship, materials, all that stuff on point. You can see that white air unit under there. And in my opinion, these remastered shoes, the one thing that they have that is definitely better, whether the materials are there or not, is that the midsole material that they use is actually more comfortable. So I don't know what they did to it. I guess they like lowered the density or whatever of the, um, the polyurethane, but when you break them in and everything, they're super comfortable. Those Fire Red 5s, even with the crappy materials that they have, they're at least comfortable to wear, you know what I'm saying? Same with those Dunk From Above 5 Lows or whatever, and then these guys, the Cement 4s, all that stuff, they're much more comfortable than years past retros. I went true to size on these guys, as I have been with some of the most recent retro releases. To me, they just fit perfect. Retail price is going to be 190 I forgot to show this off real quick, but just wanted to show the logo there, as well as the patch. Are these worth 190 I don't know, man. That's your choice. Spend your money however you'd like. All I'm here for is just to tell you what's up with these guys. They have good materials. They fit true to size. Craftsmanship, at least on my pair, is very clean. So that pretty much takes care of it. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway below in the comment section. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Are you kind of indifferent about them? Or are you not sure you need to see these in person? If you do like them, what's your favorite feature? Mine's the outsole. So thank you guys for watching again. And until next time, guys, have a good one.